Hello, and welcome to Fallout 76. I am Wiggle, and this is eight more tips for new players. Why is it eight more tips? Well, I've already done a video of 10 tips for new players, and this is just a few more things that I think would be helpful to a new player early in the game. All right, so here you are. You haven't even left the vault yet. You've been playing for a minute or two only, and you pick up these perk cards, because it tells you to take them, and this happens. You're faced with your first level up. Now this game throws a lot at you. There's a lot to. There's a lot of different things to know, uh, and so you know, unless unless you've played this game before, and if you have, I'm not sure. You know, this probably isn't all that helpful. Uh, but uh, yeah, you don't know what to do. Uh, this is this is uh, one of those things you worry about. You don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to mess up your character. And that is tip number one. Don't worry about messing up your character. You will make mistakes. Uh, you will change your mind probably more than once. Uh, and you will have the the chance to uh, now. I like to start off with uh, Action Boy, uh, one you know, added into Agility Action Boy. That's a little helpful, uh, but honestly, early on, it doesn't really matter what you do. You will have the option to pretty much change anything about your character, uh, including the appearance. The only thing that's set in stone is the name. So once you pick your character's name, that's set in stone. Everything else you'll have the option to change later. So just you know, relax. Pick whatever you want. It doesn't really matter this early on. And uh, you can fix whatever whatever you need to fix later on. You'll be able to do that. So that's tip number one. All right. Tip number two has to do with contextual ammo. And what that means is basically when you search a container, a ammo container, any other kind of container, uh, even a, a body of a dead enemy, you know, an enemy that you killed, uh, it has a chance to have ammo. And... With contextual ammo, the way that that works is the ammo that you find will have a high chance to be for the weapon that you have equipped. And so you can see here we have a 10 millimeter pistol. Uh, and inside this little uh, structure here, uh, we have a duffel bag and it actually has 10 millimeter ammo in it, which is what our pistol uses. And same here, we have 10 millimeter ammo as well. Uh, and if we had another type of weapon equipped, uh, like a different type of pistol or rifle or whatever, it would have a high chance to have ammo for that type of gun. And if you had a, um, a melee weapon equipped, it would just have random ammo. So yeah, basically, if you have more than one gun, uh, make sure when you sh when you search the containers, equip the gun that you have, uh, that you want ammo for the most. So that is tip number two. Tip number three, use throwing knives. Uh, they are crafted at a weapons workbench, and they are listed under throwable weapons, obviously. I mean, they're throwing knives. Uh, they require steel to make, and that is it. And steel is very plentiful. It's in pretty much everything. And throwing knives up to about level 15, they can uh, pretty much one-shot about anything. Now, throwing knives are used just like grenades. And as you can see, they're quite effective. You know, one shot and I kill that Scorch and it does way more damage than the gun that I have. And they also have the benefit of being completely silent. So um, when you are low level, below level 11 actually, you won't have the option, uh, you won't be able to put a, silence, a silencer on your weapon. And so you won't be able to do sneak attacks. Now my agility is only two, so, but you can see, <laughs> it's quite effective at dealing with, you know, it conserves ammo as well. Plus, it's just kind of fun to uh, kill enemies that way. So, yeah, use throwing knives. Uh, they're fun, they're uh, cheap to craft, and they are completely silent. Tip number four. Harvest and cook everything. So there are flowers and, and corn and all kinds of things growing all over the place. And anything you can harvest, you do so. Uh, and you can combine that with water and wood and turn that into a wide variety of foods that give you um, bonuses to your stats, uh, health regeneration, uh, keeps your food and drink meters full. And anytime you craft food and, uh, and like drinks, you get experience for doing that. So in addition to the, the, the benefits of the food itself, you actually get experience, which helps you level up. And anything you don't eat, you can actually sell. So there are multiple benefits to, to crafting food. And you do that at a cooking station, as you'd imagine, right here. And once you're using the cooking station, 
If you do at the bottom of the screen, you can see where it says toggle craftable. And that will just tell you all the things that you can make based on what you've gathered. So right there, I have boiled water, which I can make, and that's just dirty water. Two dirty water turns into one boiled water, just like that. And then I have a whole host of things I can make. So that is tip number four. Tip number five, don't repair or craft weapons or armor until you are level 10. Uh, the weapons that you get are, I mean, you get, when you get right out of the vault, I mean, you'll get a 10 millimeter pistol, it's level one, and you get one armor piece, an armor chest piece that's also level one. Um, up until level 10, enemies, for the most part, don't do a lot of damage and really aren't that strong. And so your level one gear will be plenty good enough to see you through, at least to level 10. Um, also... You'll find, you'll find bits of armor and weapons all around when you're exploring and doing your, your quests. And anything you find, basically, up to level 10 will be fine. It'll do just fine. And the reason you don't want to do that, number one, you don't need to. Um, but also, when you're early on in the game, uh, resources are precious. Uh, you're just not going to have a lot of stuff. It takes time to accumulate resources. And so you don't want to waste them crafting gear that you're not going to be using for very long. Um, but once you're at level 10, then stuff uh, like your armor especially, uh, anything you craft then is going to last you another 10 levels until level 20. So uh, you, you really want to wait to do any kind of repairing or crafting until you're at least level 10. And that is tip number five. Tip number six. Start the tadpole quest line as soon as possible. Now you do that by coming to the Pioneer uh, Scout Camp which uh, you can see on the map is right here, and in relation to the vault where you start out is right there. So it's a little bit northeast. Now, I'm not saying you should make a beeline for it right out of the vault, uh, but, you know, but try and get here as early as you can. Uh, and the reason for that is, upon completing the, uh, the initial quest line, you'll be awarded a large backpack, which gives you double the capacity of a small one. So it's very beneficial to do that. Um, but also... Uh, a lot of the things, like you're probably not going to want to just come here and start doing the quest line. You just want to initiate it so it's basically there. Uh, and then you'll complete a lot of the a lot of parts of it just by accident through normal adventuring and, and exploring and stuff. Uh, and so when you are ready to start it and start actually doing the parts of it, you'll have a bit of a head start. So that's why I recommend starting this as soon as you as soon as you can. And that is tip number six. Alrighty, tip number seven is milk brahmin. And brahmin are these two-headed cows that you see here. And you see when I, when I uh, go to interact with them, it gives me the option to milk them. And so if I do that, um, it may give me milk. Um, they may kick. In fact, I'm being unlucky here. They're just all kicking. Okay, that one gave me brahmin milk, which is good. <laughs> which is good. Otherwise, that would have been uh, very difficult. I would have to go somewhere else. This is not the only location for brahmin. Uh, but this is probably the first one that a new player would find. Um, and the reason for milking Brahmin is actually a few reasons. So if you look at Brahmin milk here in your inventory, it actually removes radiation. Now you can also use Rataway to remove radiation, but Brahmin milk does it without giving you an increased risk of a disease. Plus it also acts as food and water. So just by eating Brahmin milk, you can fill your hunger and thirst meters. You can, remo you can remove radiation. And one other thing is there is a tadpole quest, one of the, for the, for the quest line that I showed you in the previous tip, um, part of that quest is to milk 10 Brahmin. So if you just get in the habit of milking them whenever you see them, by the time you're ready to start that quest, you'll already be partially completed. Um, and also, even if you do use Radaway, I mean, this will just conserve that. If you use this, this is just free, just out there for you to uh, use whenever. And uh, yeah, it'll conserve the chems for when you don't have a Brahmin nearby. So that is tip number seven. Okay, here we are at the Rusty Pick, which is, let's see, there is the, uh, there's the vault, and here is the Rusty Pick. Now this is probably not some place you're going to come to immediately, uh, but inside is the Purveyor, and the Purveyor is right here, this Mole Miner, and the Purveyor sells uh, legendary weapons and armor, which is what you uh, use your legendary script for. And if you're brand new to the game, you may not know what that is, but you will. It's a big part of the game. Uh, so the tip here is, so you can see they have melee weapons, power armor, different different kinds of weapons, depending on basically how strong you want them to be. Um, and the cost goes up accordingly. Now, the problem is, say I want a legendary ranged weapon and I use rifles. 
Well, this could be any kind of ranged weapon. It could give me a missile launcher. It could give me a grenade launcher. Uh, it could give me a pistol. So it's not necessarily going to give you what you want. In fact, most likely it will not give you the, even the type of weapon you want. And so what you want to spend your legendary script on instead are legendary modules. And those allow, allow you to craft your own weapons. Now, you, there's still a lot of randomness involved, but with the legendary modules, you can at least pick the very specific type of weapon that you want. And so don't waste your uh, don't waste your legendary script on weapons or armor. Uh, spend all your legendary script on modules, and you'll be uh, happy later on. And that is tip number eight. And there you have it, eight more tips for new players. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.